Good morning, everyone. Today is, let's see, Thursday the 22nd, and we are going to be working on our third page in the state test prep section of our class notebook called Proportional Relationships, page two. So we have um, some state test level problems with proportional equations. Yesterday, sorry, not yesterday, on Tuesday, you solved some um, proportional tables and proportional graphs, just determining if they were proportional or um, what the constant of proportionality was. Now we're gonna look at some, but we're gonna use that constant of proportionality to make proportional equations. So we're taking it just a step further. And this is review um, from our original unit three that we did this year. Okay, so take a minute, take a look at your DIN review and preview question. There's a table, there's a graph if you would like to graph it, and we want to decide whether that relationship is proportional or not. And then in the preview question, um, you're gonna take it a little bit further. All right, here we go. Um, I am actually not going to graph my um, submarine depth here because we can already determine just from the table whether it is proportional or not. We wanna take our X value, which would be the time, and our Y value, which would be the depth, and we need to check for each one, Y divided by X, okay? Remember that constant of proportionality should always be Y divided by X, and the only way that we're gonna see if this is proportional is if all four of these are equal. So 100 divided by two, that gives me 50. This is my K column here. 180 divided by four, is that gonna be the same or different? 180 divided by four, that actually gives me a 45. So right away, guys, we see that this is not proportional because automatically we already have one that's not equal. But I'm going to do the rest anyway. Let's see what happens. 260 divided by 6. That's actually 43.3333. So that 3 is repeating. Put my repeating line on top. And 340 divided by eight, that's about 42.5. So all of these are pretty close, but not equal. So we can say, no, this graph and table, this situation, this relationship is not proportional. And then in my preview question, they asked me, can we change the table so that it is proportional? And the answer is yes, we could kind of um, tweak things to change them up. If we made this a 200, then 200 divided by four would equal 50, okay? If we made this into a, let's see, is it 300? Into a 300, yep, then 300 divided by six would be 50. And if we make this into a 400, then 400 divided by eight would be 50, okay? They would all be equal, so it would make the table proportional. And then our constant of proportionality could be that 50. If they all equaled 50, the constant would be 50. So I'm gonna write that down. If we changed the Y values, and it is possible to make this table proportional. And we could make the constant of proportionality 
equal 50. Or we could change it so that they all equal 45. Or we could change it so that they all equal 42.5. Does it matter um, which constant of proportionality you would choose, but it would be possible to change it to make it proportional and then have them all with the same constant. Awesome. Let's go down to exercise two. We're gonna take a look at another table and do kind of the same thing. Is it proportional? Find the constant. We're going to write an equation and then use that equation to help us out. And then all of the rest of our practice are multiple choice questions and some writing questions from the real state test. So let's go ahead and start that. We have exercise one. Sheldon is going on a road trip with his mom. He notices a gas light came on, which means that the car is running out of gas. Below is a record of how many miles his mom drove and how many gallons of gas she used. You need to determine if Sheldon is, and his mom will make it to the next gas station. So the first part of that is determining if this table is proportional. Go ahead and pause your video here and tell me yes or no. We want to find that K again, our K column. And we want to see if they are all equal. All right, so let's check. 112 divided by four, and I have my calculator next to me that's helping me just make sure I'm doing this correctly. 112 divided by four gives me a 28. 224 divided by eight also gives me a 28. And then 280 divided by 10, that one also gives me a 28. So is this table proportional? Yes, it is. Question two, find the constant of proportionality. Well, what number did we get that they were all equal to? 28. 28 is our constant of proportionality. 